gather the writers. It's time the world hears my life story. Of course, sir. Even though I'm just the messenger, the ending to this story will entirely depend on the writer's skills. I'm sure the Herod and Wells biography will be an instant bestseller. It's up to them now. Five writers, five books, and only one winner. I'm so excited to finally meet you. I've read all your books cover to cover. Could you please sign my favorite one? So much. Uh, would you mind posing for a quick photo? It would mean a lot to me. Good morning. <clears throat> Before I introduce myself, I'd like your full attention. Why don't you check your bank account? And then we'll talk. I know this may seem like showing off, but uh, your works have caught the attention of my employer. And he would like to offer you the chance of a lifetime. My name is Rupert Wellmeyer, and I represent Mr. Herod and Wells. I've traveled across the country to offer you a job. Mr. Wells is too frail of health to contact you personally, so he sent me. <coughs> right now, my job is to speak to his favorite writer in his name. Writers from all over the country will be competing to write Mr. Wells' biography. The winner will be published and paid handsomely. Thanks for accepting. Oh, one more thing. Could you sign this, please? Mr. Wells is collecting all of your first editions. Excellent. I'll give you a lift to your home so you can pack your things. Then I'll arrange a private flight to Mr. Wells' estate. Glad you joined us. The other writers we sent for should be here already. Mr. Wells' estate is secluded and peaceful, but it seems we're in for a storm. <coughs> Hang on, it's gonna be a bumpy landing.
bring your luggage upstairs to your room. Please head to the parlor and make yourself comfortable. Going upstairs for Mr. Wells. He will be down shortly. Adam, please. No disrespect, but your horror novels simply do not appeal to mature audiences. Mainly young adults read your Phantasmat series. <laughs> Says the guy who writes children's fantasy. The only mature audience who reads Hidden Expedition are the parents who read it to their kids. Hey, aren't you Mrs. Douglas? You wrote the Dead Reckoning series, right? Could you find the average critic score and show it to us? told you. But don't worry. I'm certain you'll eventually get a horror movie deal for your books. Oh, those two have been giving me a headache for the last hour. They're bickering like an old married couple. Do you have a lighter on you? I'm getting quite nervous around new people. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. The name's Jessica Benedict. I'm sure you've heard of my dance macabre novels. I've read your work. You could say a few of them inspired me as well. Keep up the good work, darling. Whew. Great weather out there, huh? Sorry I'm late. I hope I didn't miss anything. So you're the author of the famous Off the Record series? It's a pleasure to meet you in person. To be honest, I pictured someone older. I agree. It's exceptional how you've managed to publish so many books at such a young age. Thanks. This is such a great opportunity for my career. I like journalism all right, but my passion is creative writing. You guys are the first people to see my face. I'm turning a new page in life. No more hiding from the public. Welcome, my dear guests. It isn't fair that I know so much about all of you, but you know so little of me. So please, gaze at the wall behind you. My beginnings were humble, but with time and effort, my company grew into the industry leader of this country. I became rich at last and used my wealth to travel around the world, meeting all kinds of people. Each day was better than the last. I threw a party every weekend, accompanied by the most beautiful women. In my heart, I've always been an adventurer. Extreme sports excite me, but my first love has always been music. I love concerts, so I built a stage in my backyard. Listening to loud music always gives me such a rush. 
Before I met my wife, I had my share of fun, even though I still grieve her death. That's when I secluded myself from the public eye. Now, I've prepared a gift for each of you, which can be opened only with a special token. They're at the bottom. Please help yourselves. I've selected each of you for your specific writing styles. My biography must be written by the best of the best. I will choose the writer whose outline I'd like the most. The book will be published and the winner will get $500,000. But enough about that. First, I would like to propose a toast to all of my talented guests. Cheers! going on? Oh no. Mr. Wells? Are you all right? Hang on, sir. I've got you. Once I have Mr. Wells secured, I'll call the police. <clears throat> Everyone, please, stay calm. Adam? No! He's dead! I'll try to contact the police now. It's admirable how you kept your composure. Hang on for a minute. Hello? I'm calling from the Wells estate. There's been a murder. Mrs. Douglas, could you examine Adam's body and describe what you see? <coughs> I need to give the police as much information as possible. drinks were spiked with a sleeping drug, so we all fell asleep. When we awoke, we discovered one of us was dead. The victim was stabbed once in the chest and died almost immediately. The killer left a threatening note. We're all in danger. Please, send someone immediately. What? What do you mean? Oh. The weather. All right, but please, come as soon as you can. Well, you heard the news. <coughs> the police will come as soon as the storm passes. Go to your room. It should be safe there. I'll be in my office. Douglas, Rupert told me what happened to Adam. I never imagined such a heinous crime could happen in my own home. I'd lock myself in my room. I suggest everyone else do the same. You can find the keys by my late wife's portrait. Thank you. 
someone just died. I'm not in the mood for chit chat, darling. Please, go. all of this. I feel like I'm trapped in one of Adam's novels. I just wish it would all end. Listen, Cameron didn't go to her room at all. I looked for her outside too, but I didn't see her. I don't know where she is. Also, I found her book. Check out the release date. There's no way she could have written it in high school. She's too young. Something is fishy. I know what you're thinking, but I didn't kill Adam. I'm familiar with his work, but I harbor no resentment. He was weird and paranoid, sure, but why would anyone want to kill him? I want to help, but to be frank, I'm scared I'll be next. Forgive me, but I don't feel safe here. you all I know. Please, just, just give me some space. I'd like to be alone.
Everything I owned and invested it into oil. I decided to sell it at a low price, and after a while it began to sell like hotcakes. At its peak, the Wells Oil Company held 90% of the market share for refined oil. We then invested in the airline industry, purchasing several jet companies. Years later, I divided the Wells Oil Company into several smaller ones, increasing their value and doubling my wealth overnight. Wells Investment was my next endeavor.
Thank you. I'm Cameron Jones. I was getting ready to drive to a writing competition a few hours ago when I was kidnapped. What? That's impossible! I'm Cameron Jones! Someone knocked me out and locked me in my car trunk! If you don't believe me, check my ID! I'm the one who wrote that book you're holding! It was published back in 2000! The last thing I remember was putting my suitcase in my trunk when someone hit me on the head. The next thing I knew, I was kidnapped! I really needed money. So I decided to write a huge story about Mr. Wells' business. Isn't it suspicious that he got that rich so fast? Please, can you take me somewhere safe? I couldn't bear to face my kidnapper again. Join me on the balcony. <sighs> I need some fresh air. Oh, this has gotten completely out of hand. <coughs> I'm so stressed that my asthma is acting up. But I can't seem to find my inhaler. <coughs> Please, can you find it? <coughs> I'll be waiting here. <coughs> <coughs> 